Hello everyone. For this presentation, we're going to show you how to embed a Loom video into a Google Slides presentation using Google Drive. But before we do that, we'll need to make sure that you have the Loom Chrome extension. So what you'll do is go to the Chrome Web Store. So in the Omni box, you can search Chrome Web Store. And then it should be at the very top of the search. So once the web store opens, you'll go to search the store, type in Loom, and then the extension should pop up and you'll want to add that to Chrome. Once it's done downloading, it'll add the extension to your Chrome browser. Go ahead and create your account using your Missouri State EDU login. And then go ahead and click I agree. Go ahead and use it as a teacher so that way you can have all those free features that go with Loom. And then you'll just name your workspace whatever you want. There are There is a, a desktop app you can use as well, but for this assignment, the Chrome extension will um, work just fine. So then you come to your Loom dashboard. It should be empty because you haven't recorded any videos yet. Um, before we record our first video though, I want to show you where your Loom extension is. So to the right of the Omnibox, um, there's a little puzzle looking piece. That's where they store all your extensions and you can pin those to the um, next to the Omnibox if you want to. So from here, um, just go ahead and click new video. Go ahead and click on record a video and go ahead and give them access to your um, microphone and camera. So from there what you can do is go ahead, your options for Loom will pop up on the right as well as your webcam um, will pop up in the lower left and then you have the option to um, record your screen and camera both. You can record just your screen or you can record just your camera. And then for um, this assignment you'll just want to record from camera only. So then you'll go ahead and get the settings in place for how you want to record. So your microphone, your webcam, there's also some advanced options you can go through um, to do a little tweaking to your recording as well. But once you got everything ready, then you'll go ahead and start your recording. And just like with any other screen recording software, Go ahead and say what you need to say. So once you're all done, you'll hit the uh, green circle with the check, show that you're done with the video. It'll take a few seconds, maybe a minute to render, depending how long the video is. And then what you'll do from here is you have some options on the right there. You see that you can uh, change some preferences, trim the video. You can add an action button if you want something that somebody can click on and, and go to a different website. Um, you can embed those in this video as well. It's actually very, very neat. So once everything looks good, once you think um, it's great, you're ready to do it, um, you'll see the three dots to the left where it says copy video link. That's where you'll download. Don't do copy video link because they'll send you a URL, which is awesome if you're just wanting to make a quick video and send a URL. But for our purposes, you want to click on those three dots, do the drop down, and then go ahead and click download and it'll download from your Chrome browser. Now the cool thing is, is what you could do now is you can just go right into Google Drive and then go ahead and create a folder. And with that folder, call it video. That way you'll know where this video is stored. And then all you have to do is grab it from the download right up onto your Google Drive folder. And it actually be saved right onto Google Drive. 
Now you can rename the video. So for the second part of this assignment, you are going to create a Google Slides presentation, an interactive uh, slides presentation. And one of the things that you need to do is embed a introductory video. And so that is where this part comes in. You're going to first make sure that the share settings are correct so that way anyone can see the video. So you'll go down to uh, get link and then change that to I would use anyone with the link so that way you don't run into any issues. So if you just choose anyone with the link it's a safer bet. Then what you're going to do is go to the slide that you want to use then go to insert video and then you'll want to go to Google Drive. Now the video since you've already uploaded it should be already there but there might be a chance that you have to search. You can always use the search, but more than likely the video is probably just gonna be ready for you to use in the recent. So you'll just go ahead and select it, and there you go. The embedded video is now on your slide. So you'll just wanna check it, make sure that everything looks good, that it plays all the way through, and that's it. You're done. I appreciate your time. Thank you.